All right, turning now to another top story as the world gets ready to mark new, the new year. Eight American families will be mourning another month without their loved ones. Those people are still being held hostage by Hamas in Gaza. Secretary of State Antony Blinken assured the families today of those American hostages being held in Gaza that, and other Americans detained around the world, by the way, that they are all, quote, not a number on a piece of paper. Uh, my message to Americans who have their loved ones being arbitrarily detained someplace around the world is is twofold. One, we're with you. The president is with you. And he's working for you every single day to bring your loved ones home. And second, do not, do not, do not give up hope because we have demonstrated time and again that even when something seemed hopeless, it wasn't. Secretary Blinken also said that Israel and the U.S. would like to see another hostage deal on the table, but he blamed Hamas for stalling the negotiations of those talks. Moments ago, I spoke to the father of one of those Americans still held hostage by Hamas. Jonathan Dekel Chen told me he hopes by speaking out, his son Sagi will return home alive. Jonathan, first of all, how are you holding up? Your wife said a few days ago that not knowing what's happening to your son is the worst. She said, is he being tortured? Is he being fed? Is he being kept in darkness? Is he deprived of water? That, this must be agony for you. Well, it, it, it surely is. And I think that would, that's true of all of the remaining 129 hostages. Uh, the only thing we know about the we know about Saki is that he was taken by Hamas on uh, the morning of October 7th, and that we did, along with many others, get a sign of life about three, three and a half weeks ago by virtue of uh, the 30 or so released hostages from our kibbutz, kibbutz near Oz, who saw that many of the uh, um, many of the other people on near Oz and were able to tell us that as of about three and a half weeks ago, Sagi was alive. Your son was last seen at 9.30 a.m. on October 7th, the day of the attack. His wife and his two daughters were hiding in a safe room while he tried to defend the kibbutz. Does part of you wish that he had gone with them to hide in the safe room? Well, um, look, I'd, I'd rather have my family whole and together, of course. But he and many other of the young men and not so young men on the kibbutz um, were willing and ready to risk their lives in order to save or to do what they could to save as many lives as possible on that horrific day. Keep in mind, we're talking about a handful of, of, of men who were fighting against approximately 200 heavily armed uh, Hamas terrorists and another several hundred looters who descended on the kibbutz that morning. I'm proud of him, but more importantly, I'm doing, and many others, are doing everything we can to get him back home. Many of the families of the Israeli hostages are protesting that the Israeli government is not doing more to free the hostages, especially after three Israeli men were shot and killed while waving a white flag and trying to escape captivity. Your son is an American citizen. Is the U.S. government doing enough? What do you think about the Israeli government? The uh, general feeling in Israel is that, uh, over the doubt, that our government has been prioritizing the fate of the hostages in, in its general war needs. And I'm not the first, and I suspect probably won't be the last to say that. In terms of the U.S. administration, I don't think that anyone could reasonably expect any more than they have been doing and, and we believe will continue to do. How are the families of all these hostages, both Israeli and American, helping each other through this? We just saw a picture of you standing with the parents of other hostages. All of you had a big picture of your sons in that case, and that picture was all sons who are being held hostage. I'm just curious how you are getting through this time and supporting each other. Well, uh, look, first of all, uh, it's important to note that almost all of the remaining hostages are met um, uh, from young, very young men up to and including a lot of elderly men. Um, that's part of our concern, that because they are men, uh, that they will somehow uh, not be prioritized 
as much as they should be. In terms of how do you cope, I think everyone has their own answer for that. For me, it's just keeping my eye on the prize, and, and, and that eye is, or that prize, is Sagi, I hope, on his own two feet, and it walks into some hallway or some room somewhere tomorrow, today, and his two little girls leap into his arms, and he goes to greet his wonderful wife and their newborn. And that's what keeps me going. Thanks so much for watching. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.